hey guys welcome back to my channel so guys if you don't know me hi i'm isola bianca and please if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel thumbs up to this video and also click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i upload a new video so guys on today's video i'm going to be talking about body oil so i'm going to be telling you guys I'm going to be telling you guys which oil you should never use on your skin and which one is really good especially if you have hyperpigmentation if you are on the process of brightening your skin I'm going to be sharing with you guys so all this oil I'm going to be talking about that I've tried it on my skin so I know what I'm saying so guys continue watching So on today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my experience on this oil. Extra virgin olive oil, sweet almond oil, vitamin E oil, and um, vegetable glycerin oil, and lastly, coconut oil. Okay guys so let's get into this video so for the first one i'm going to be talking about the first one i really 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 love it's the vitamin e oil so the job of vitamin e oil on your skin is to actually help it helps to fight free radicals and it helps to slow down the aging process of your skin it helps to lighten up dark marks and it and it also helps to reduce wrinkles and fine lines that's why i keep saying it when you will see you are seeing almost all my things i do i use vitamin e oil this is the reason why i use vitamin e oil vitamin e oil it's very very good on your skin if you have not if you have not start using vitamin e oil i would advise you to start using it on your regime it's very very good how i use my vitamin e oil before i used to use it day and night but now because i'm using another type of oil at night so i use my vitamin e oil in the day after taking my shower when i my skin is a bit wet i just apply everything on my body and i like to dry off before using my body moisturizer so vitamin e oil it's very good it helps to fight free radicals it helps to slow down wrinkles and fine lines aging and all that it helps to keep the skin firm and one thing i actually really like about this vitamin e oil this particular one that i'm using it's 100 percent natural so if I, I would advise you if you want to go for a vitamin e oil you should use you should try and use the one that has that is 100 percent natural so this one is 100 percent natural and it also helps to lighten dark mark if you have dark mark on your body you suffer from hyperpigmentation and all that i would advise you to start using vitamin e oil so one thing i would say it does not actually do its job is not to moisturize it does not really give you that it does not really it, it helps to keep moisture on your skin it helps to moisturize a bit but when it comes to moisturizing if i have to say from one to ten i would say it helps to moisturize three from one to ten i would say three because his job is not actually to moisturize your skin his job is every other thing i just mentioned so i would advise you to look into vitamin e oil okay okay so the next one i'm going to be talking about is vegetable glycerin mine is washed out i don't know vegetable glycerin the oil poured on the bottle on the bottle so it kind of cleaned the writing who knows why but anyways and the next one i'm going to be talking about is vegetable glycerin oil this vegetable glycerin oil it has advantage and it also has disadvantage you have to actually you have to understand and know how to use this vegetable glycerin oil which i'm going to be explaining to you guys so the first thing i really love about this vegetable glycerin it helps to moisturize your skin 
it helps to moisturize your skin if you suffer from dry skin i would advise you to try vegetable glycerin you can try any one but this particular one i'm using it's also the same a mark i'm using on my vitamin e oh yeah i really love the product i really love their product it's called nascent i can't even pronounce it <laughs> man sense but <laughs> what name is that but anyways i get i got i uh, i get mine from amazon it's very very good so vegetable glycerin helps to if you suffer from dry skin you should be using vegetable glycerin it helps to much moisturize your skin and one thing i noticed about vegetable glycerin it's very very thick it's very very thick it's very very thick so the best way glycerin, if you suffer from dry skin i would advise you to use vegetable glycerin on your skin it helps to really seal in moisture and the right way to use vegetable glycerin is to mix it with water just take a bit on the can and mix it with water and after taking shower you have to apply it on the wet skin not on the dry skin don't apply it on the dry, the dry skin apply it on the wet skin it's going to help you seal in moisture it's going to take water in your skin it's going to keep that moisture in it's not going to allow the moisture out that's why vegetable glycerin is very very good when it comes to dry skin and one other thing i really don't like if you don't know how to use it you don't mix it with water it might clog your pores it might clog your pores especially after shaving don't apply vegetable glycerin on your skin because it's going to clog your pores that's one thing i really don't like about it but when it comes to when it comes to moisturizing your skin it really helps to moisturize your skin if you suffer from dry skin trust me go and use vegetable glycerin but you have to mix it with water mix it with water and apply it on the wet skin it's going to have sealing moisture it's going to have hydrate your skin so i use my vegetable glycerin sometimes not every time in a week but when i just got it i used to use it every day every day but now i'm using it less because my skin is not as dry as it used to be so vegetable glycerin it's very very good for your skin so the next one we are going to be talking about so sweet almond oil helps to reduce dark mark if you have damaged your skin if you have a damaged skin especially from bleaching and all that please i would advise you to start using just sweet almond oil stop using any lightening or brightening cream stick to sweet almond oil so when it comes to sweet almond oil it's a is an is an oil is an oil that has been used for centuries by our great grandmother forefathers foremothers <laughs> whatever so they have been using it for their regime it's kind of um it's kind of medicine and when it comes to the skin it helps to repair damaged skin it helps to brighten up your skin as well it helps to it just helps to keep that glowy beautiful skin so if you have if you have any damaged skin if you have the damaged skin that you've damaged from the process of all the skin lightening and all that i would advise you to stick to this with almond oil it's very very good and it can also reduce the appearance of acne this is what they said i don't have acne i don't know anyone that has used it for acne but when i did my research on sweet almond oil that's what i already said it can reduce acne so you can try it out as well because it helps to it helps to reduce excess oil too as well so that's what they said but as for me what i actually know that if you have damaged skin from lightening from skin lightening it's going to help you repair it it's going to brighten up your skin it's going to help give you that glow and regenerate your skin for you so you can as well check into sweet almond oil sweet almond oil i really love this oil it's close to my heart i really love it i use it on my skin when i'm doing my skin building when i'm not using any brightening lotion or anything i use just sweet almond oil and vitamin e oil so it's very good when on my scrub i use just sweet hammered oil so it's very very good 
so the next one we are going to be talking about is coconut oil <laughs> I can't even hold it I I can't even look at this oil, I swear. Let me quickly go and check what my daughter is doing in the bathroom. She left the water running. Whitney! That's why I like filming my video in the morning. So she left the water running, I had to run. So let's continue. So like I just said, I can't even look at this. Coconut oil. So guys, this coconut oil, I bought it before I even had the thought of even starting my own channel. I bought this coconut oil before having the thought of sitting down here and talking with you guys. Because why I bought this oil is because I suffer from dry skin. I already said it countless times. I suffer from dry skin and my daughter also suffer from dry skin. Even my son a, a little bit, but my daughter suffers from dry skin. So there was a period, you know, like there's kind of period your skin looks really bad. There's nothing you do that works. I was on that stage where my skin was really dry, really, really dry. There is nothing I did that was working. So I was like, okay, on YouTube, I was hearing everybody, all the beauty guru and everybody saying, coconut eye coconut oil is very good for your skin it helps to hydrate your skin just put it in put it in. <laughs> i'm trying to form accents but anyway <laughs> god and everybody was saying coconut oil i see people even using it to clean their makeup even using it to moisturize their face moisturize their hair so i was like okay let me buy coconut oil and try for myself so i bought coconut oil i even bought i don't know if you can see it because of the light i even bought the natural bio oil like it's just natural it's natural 100 percent natural so then i started using it i tried it on oh god this thing gave me flaky skin it gave me flaky skin my skin was dry it i using it even i used it i was anything i want to use maybe if, even if i have to use it on my daughter or my son i try to uh, i like using it first to know if it's good if it's good for me then i can try it on them i don't just try it on them at the same time i'm trying it on me so this year i swear to i i swear to god eh the, the, the money that I spend on this coconut oil, eh? I just I would have just take it and just put it on fire. Like this, I will know that I burnt my own money myself. But anyways, it's still there. It's still there. I was using it. I was like, okay, maybe it's going to dry my skin first and then it's going to repair the skin. <laughs> my skin became really dry. That it became really itchy. My skin was so flaky. Even my hair, it dried up my hair that was like no 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 i have to drop this thing then after some time or after maybe one year this thing has been with me for years now <laughs> i really have to throw it away i don't know why i'm still keeping it now it's it, it got melted because of because it's hot so when it's winter it gets really dry it, it became cakey it becomes cakey that's why I, I don't even bother but i think now i'm going to throw it away after this video because i don't have any use for this coconut oil so then after some years people started coming out on youtube and saying coconut oil is not good for your skin it dries up your skin why are not not talking before I don't understand these people i don't understand anyways but <laughs> maybe for their skin it was working but for my own skin coconut oil was really bad on my skin it was really bad it dried up my skin and gave me flaky skin so please don't use coconut oil that's why if you suffer from dry skin i want to give you one quick tip if you suffer from dry skin don't use anything that has coconut oil or anything that has uh, alcohol in it avoid those two ingredients if you check your product and you see it has coconut oil or alcohol like the percentage of alcohol or maybe the main ingredient in it is alcohol or coconut oil i would advise you not to 
I would advise you not to use it. It's going to dry up your skin. So coconut oil is a no-no for me. So the next oil I'm going to be talking about is olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. So if you don't have money to buy all these olive, all these oils I just mentioned, extra olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, it's something you might even have on in your kitchen. As for me, you know we Italians, we use olive oil to cook. When I first came to Italy, it was so disgusting. I wasn't used to cooking with olive oil. That's because in Nigeria we use the the arachid oil, the granite oil. That's what we use. So now I'm so used to the olive oil because I can't cook with any other oils apart from olive oil. So olive oil is something you might have in your kitchen. It's very very good when it comes to the skin. When I use my olive oil, I use it as I use it to mix my scrub too as well. It's very very good. It helps to moisturize the skin. It helps to firm the skin and all that. It's very very good. If you can't afford all this oil, just go in for olive oil. Olive oil, we all know, it's good for the skin. But the only thing I notice in olive oil, it's not something that you should apply on your skin to moisturize your skin. It's going to darken your skin when you apply olive oil on your skin and you go on the sun it's going to darken you more i don't know why maybe it's just me it's going to darken your skin more so i would not advise you to use olive oil as a moisturizer please you can use it on your scrub and use it as a scrub and you can use it to mix your scrub and just scrub your body and use it as a scrub but not as a moisturizer it's not going to brighten up your skin it's not going to it's just going to make you look darker trust me trust me don't use it don't use it as a moisturizer but it's very good to moisturize the skin if you are a dark person and you suffer from dry skin and you don't want to look in all, in all this oil i just mentioned go for olive oil it's going to moisturize your skin but as a fair person don't use it it's going to darken you more when you go on the sun so the last one i'm going to be talking about this oil i just started using it i just started using this oil i got it from a friend i got it from a friend of mine she has this app shop she says this natural ingredient and all that she just opened recently so i went to visit her so i decided to just patronize her i got oil i got some other natural things i got from her but this particular one i got it for me and my kids and i have been using it for me and my kids it's very very good it's almond oil but almond oil with perfume in it it has the this one is the vanilla blue it's very very good this oil just wait guys let me tell you the vitamin packed in this oil first of all is 100 percent natural almond oil it's natural uh it has sunflower in it uh so let me tell you the vitamins in it it has sunflower in it the first vitamin is vitamin a which is very very good for the skin if you don't know vitamin a oh my god i already said this on my video where i talked about my supplements i'm going to start taking vitamin a so vitamin a vitamin b1 vitamin b2 vitamin b6 vitamin d and vitamin e so you can also use this on the in your hair you can also use it on your hair it's going to help your hair grow more what i do after giving my kids shampoo or even when i don't want to give them shampoo i just apply a drop on their scarf and just massage it in so it's very very good so i'm going to be talking about the aspect of the part of the skin because i have been using it on my skin and also on my kids skin so it helps to moisturize and it gives you that smell that sexy sweet smell hey god if you want to the night that you are planning to go and mm -mm, just apply this oil on your body <laughs> 
just apply it on your body you apply it on your neck your armpit everywhere even on the top layer of your don't apply it inside there on the top layer of your kitty 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 cat just apply it there oh my god <laughs> anyways i'm not here to talk about that so it smells so good that your partner is going to be asking you my darling what did you apply on your body <laughs> So it smells really good. I really like the smell. I swear guys, I can't stop smelling this. <sighs> it gives me. <laughs> so it smells so good. It smells so good guys. It smells so good. I'm telling you this oil. I don't know if it's on Amazon. I got it from a friend of mine. But if you can find it to buy, I'm just going to be leaving it so you can see. This oil is very good. It helps to moisturize your skin. I use it at night. This is the oil I was talking about that I use at night now. As, uh, that I have been using at night. After taking my shower with my wet skin, I just apply it all over my body. And allow it to get dry before using my lotion so this oil is very good so this one is just an extra extra tip that i'm just giving you guys i'm just it's an extra oil i'm just talking about but it's not but guys like i said this oil is very good and i love the smell love the smell so guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and just tell me on the comment section please tell me on the comment section what oil which of the oil you prefer which one you prefer to use on your body and if they give you breakouts and what they do on your skin just leave it on the comment section guys please continue subscribing leaving your comment and like my video please it helps my youtube to grow please i really want to grow this channel i really love what doing what i'm doing but i would also love seeing my channel grow because it's going to it's going to encourage me more to do more videos like this and all that so guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you haven't subscribed i'll keep saying it subscribe to my channel thumbs up leave your comments if you have any question any private question just send me on my instagram follow me on my instagram same name as my youtube name just follow me there and send me your questions send me um I know the people that have, that have sent me message on Instagram that have really have helped them when it comes to their skin problems. Hopefully they are watching, guys. So I don't have problem. We can we can talk and try to solve the problem together for free, for free. Okay. So guys, thank you guys for watching and see you all in my next one. Bye. Kisses. Love you guys. Bye bye. Ciao.